Hello ladies and gents and welcome. Today I'm gonna do a video of how to basically write a virus. Now basically what this virus will do is you set how long the computer is allowed to stay on. So if you put it on my computer and I turn my computer off and I turn it on, the moment I log on to my username, meaning if I have a password, I put the password in. If I don't have a password, then my computer just turns on. Um, from that time, if you set my computer to five seconds, the computer will turn off in five seconds. Now, fun thing to do with this is you can set the seconds to zero. So then as soon as the person logs on to his username, the computer immediately turns off. Now, this isn't a virus per se. This is more a script. If you don't know what a script is, it's basically something that you write on a notepad and you save as a dot bat. The reason it's called a script is it's basically just a bunch of commands for your CMD. Now in CMD you get a command that looks like this. Now whatever number you've put in here is your seconds. Um, it's measured in seconds. I'm just going to put 200 in. Uh, let's put 120 in. And it should give a notification of 2 minutes. Uh, I've actually got a shutdown on board so I can play with this. Let's put it again, the same command, but it can say page forward slash C. Ha ha. You can put a personalized comment in there. If it'll load, ha ha. And it doesn't say anything. So basically whatever you write in here will show in your CMD. That's it. So we're gonna start by saying add echo off. If that doesn't happen, that'll be great. Add echo off. The reason for this is the I'm just gonna put a pause in to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna save it as a, a script dot bat. That's all. You have to put a name in. A script you can replace with any name you want to. Um, the dot bat is just the dot bat has to be there. If you save it, you'll see it shows as gears. Now if you run the ad echo off, you'll see the press in the keys just because of the pause. But what the ad echo off does is it takes this Microsoft version and username and crap, takes that away. So you can say ad echo off, then your next step is going to be to say copy, and my file is script.bat, and you want to get a place where you want to copy it to. Now you want to say Windows R for Windows Run, you want to say shell startup, you want to run it, you want to just copy that URL. Any, um, any app or batch file or program or whatever that's pasted in here will run automatically on startup. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to put quote marks, paste, quote mark. So it is copy, space, your name.bat. The dot .bat has to be in the file and it has to be in the code. That's not what I want to do. And then space, quote mark, paste your link, quote mark. Now, because of the username, this is only going to work on your computer. So you, in, you change that with percentage, username, percentage. This will tell the command to use whatever username is locked on currently. I'm going to say echo. Echo shows whatever you write here will be shown in your CMD command prompt. So I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to put a top on. If I can find my thing in my bob and star. There you go. Say echo and I'm gonna put a star and I'm gonna say um, my new game attack is actually if I can type it bullet dog you it's French for bulldog and then space and then star and that's not a star that's a star and then you're gonna say echo again star and then I'm gonna put a lot of stars in now whatever you write after echo, you can write a complete paragraph if you want. Whatever you write after echo will show in CMD. So from here to here will show in CMD. Now there's not a limit, but keep in mind you're going to have to limit your characters to the window of CMD if you don't want stuff to get lost. So now just to be just to be funny, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say paste, 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 paste. That's not working for me. Um, that line should not be there. Yeah, now it's better. Now it's better. There's an echo and stars. Next, you can use a command called msg. msg is for message. 
you can put space star this star has to be there another space and then whatever you type here will show in a whatever you put in msg is gonna pop up in a notification like this so oh yeah by the way the command to stop the shutdown is shutdown slash a okay um so whatever you write here will show up in a pop-up so i'm just gonna do this copy that it's fine i'll get out the rest mm, no, 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 no. yeah that's not really gonna work is it um virus written by do my game attack and then this will pop up in a window now from here you're gonna do your shutdown command the s is for shutdown the r is for restart um, i'm gonna use shutdown and then the t is for time and time you can put any number in I think the range goes something in the 8000s or something like that I'm not sure but um, any time you put in that's gonna be it so if you want the person's computer to shut down immediately you say zero so he will log on and it will turn off I'm gonna write this for 2000 just to show you what the written part will look like um, okay so now once that is complete you want to say forward slash C this is your comment I'm just gonna copy my name again Again, I'm gonna put the whole virus written now the thing is you can do single word comments but you cannot put a sentence if you don't have quote marks if you don't have quote marks it's gonna say unknown variable and it's gonna cancel your script so that'll say written by written by now from here you want to say timeout one timeout just pauses your script for a number of seconds and I'm gonna put in one but there's a, a way that this shows how many seconds is left so the person might be able to cancel it what you instead want to do is you can say ping local host um, you want to say yeah ping local host number of times and then you have to keep in mind it's gonna be fairly quick um, number of times I'd say three or four is about a second so I'm gonna make it two just just for funny sake okay now you want to put in a command your last command has to be delete now it's script dot bat the reason for this is if you copy this on a person's desktop it's gonna double click the icon it's gonna copy itself to a specific location because batch files cannot access this link so it's gonna copy it precisely to that link and this delete um, command will not be able to delete in that unless you put the command in so it's gonna delete wherever it double clicked so the person won't be able to see the name and actually search for it if he remembers the name what 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 um, so yeah that's basically that um, so this is just gonna be echo bullet dot you what 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 and then um, local host just to show that is what happened and then it's gonna delete itself after um, about a second or so let's make it four okay so we're gonna say save now remember mine is set on 2000 seconds if you bring up a calculator and you say 2000 seconds divided by 60 to put in minutes is it's half an hour about so this should say you're gonna be locked off in 33 minutes but then again I've got a comment so it's not gonna say anything I'm just bring my task by in so here you will be able to see the command okay I'm gonna run it and say bullet dog you virus does not exist but what, what, what you're about to be locked off let me just cancel the log off and then if you go to your shell startup you will see that it copied itself here now remember I said it's gonna disappear on your desktop it's gone it deleted itself but it's still here where as soon as the computer runs it's gonna say bullet dog you virus written by bullet dog you and then it's gonna say shut down and in the notification it's gonna say bullet dog you and then it's just gonna irritate the shit out of people um, you can make this zero so the person turns his computer on and immediately off but then it's not gonna show these notifications because it's gonna be too quick um, depending on the computer I actually did this to a guy once and his computer was so freaking slow that f by the time this virus is loaded he could have been playing battlefield that's how much crap he's had on his computer so if, in, if you're sending it to someone um, I'd say make it one just for safety sake where they log on it says bullet dog you and then it turns off okay you can put whatever script you want in here you can drop pictures you can go and say Ha ha ha, stick man, yeah, make a sticker man. Just, yeah, look at that, look at that. Where's my other dash? There you go. 
You can you can put in stick men. You can do whatever the frick you want to do. Now just one quick note. Um, this echo command you cannot leave it empty. You cannot say echo, um, write something, echo, and so you're gonna leave a space and then echo, and write something. Because here it's gonna sh it's gonna give an error that says the last command used is add echo off. Because this is basically a call to see what is the echo at the current location. So instead, what you can do is I normally use a backslash and you put that in front of all and then you can put spaces because technically there is a symbol there that's why I used the stars um, in this um, in this specific moment because um, basically you can't leave it empty let's just leave it at that and then you can actually say something like this where you say echo exclamation marks just to make it look funky echo windows needs update echo like that now remember the earlier command that um, I put a, a screenshot in where it said uh, press any key to continue you basically do that with a pause command so basically it will say this dash 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 windows needs update dash 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 press any key to continue now just to show you what this will look like I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna open a new notepad and I paste it in here um, just remember the add echo off command um, otherwise you will have a bunch of stuff that you don't want in there add echo off and we're gonna put the pause in we're gonna say save as desktop just gonna say test.bat okay you can close that now you can actually wipe this because I'm not gonna use it in my command and you will see that test.bat actually says this Windows needs update press any key to continue as soon as you press enter it'll run the next command now there is no next command so it's not going to run anything but that's something you can do if you really want the timeout command also says um, two more seconds remaining press any key to continue so it's kind of like a pause but just with the time that it goes on automatically um, so this is this is all you need add echo off you copy it into location and basically the quickest way if you just want to write a functional virus is let's just open up a new notepad is just say add echo off you put in this, the copy, your name, your what what. Now that that's in, you just say shut down. Shut down, there is a shut down, remember? Seconds, not. And then that's that. Oh, put the delete command in so they don't actually find it. So it's script. Not bad. This is basically all you need if you just want to say to somebody, fuck you. If you know they're not good with computers, you just send them this. If you want to make a funny ha 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 and you want people to know who you are, that's what you do. But this is the quickest way to do it. It'll turn the notifications off so it doesn't see anything. It'll copy it where it needs to go. It'll shut down the computer and it will delete the script. Um, I will actually advise. Yeah, no, let's keep it on delete. Let's just make that one second so that the delete bad actually gets it. A chance to delete the file but that's basically all you need and you save it as a dot bat remember and that's literally you're gonna send that to somebody I have tested this where I've uploaded it with the percentage using a percentage on TeamSpeak and I I told one of my buddies to actually double click it and it worked and I've also emailed this to somebody and they've double clicked it and it worked so with this file you can do anything you can even if it's in a location let's say I um, put it on the person's documents okay you can right click drag create shortcuts here the shortcut doesn't have to be the same name so I can now make this minecraft I can say properties I can say change icon yes don't worry about that and I can put minecraft icon in and I do okay okay and that looks like minecraft but if you double click it, it's the virus. You say you see one file copied, it shows virus, what 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 what, and then it shows you are about to be locked off, but my bubble doesn't wanna drag. So you can do anything with this. Um, you can even set this to one twenty seconds, that's two minutes. You can send it to a thousand two hundred seconds, that's two hours. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I might be. Uh, but you can set this to anything. If you had to LAN, it's actually a pretty fun thing to do to go and write this on a person's computer or even write it on your computer and copy it to their desktop. 
because at lands normally you give access to the, to your computer so people can copy stuff to your computer he's gonna see this thing that says uh, some si some sort of gear thing in my bob and setting and he's gonna be like what the hell is this and he's gonna double click it and your computer will turn off now if you turn this to every 10 minutes he's gonna turn his computer on he's gonna join in the server you guys are playing and while you are busy playing his computer is just gonna randomly shut off and it's gonna be like what the fuck is going on so yeah guys that's all for today's video now keep in mind i know this is not a real virus it is a script but it acts as a virus where you double click it and it installs itself on your computer so it goes 50 50 technically it's not a virus technically it is um the more professional people will tell you it's not a virus it's not it's a script get used to that um so don't tell anyone you can actually write viruses Ooh, so exciting you can write batch files that's basically what you can do um hope you guys like this video hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did if you think this is a stupid idea and you think you can do way 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 better give it a thumbs down if you really want to i mean it's not gonna hurt me it's just gonna make me look bad so if you really want to thumbs down this video and if you've got any other ideas for patch files that you know of uh write in the comment section below write your code so everybody can see what you do and just say what the code does so somebody doesn't just copy and paste it into their computer and you delete their windows 32 but um yeah see you in the next one <laughs>